there and welcome to Rockwall, Texas Living, the web's biggest blog on the smallest county in Texas. I'm your host, Evan Madison. And I'm your co-host, Richard Madison. Well, today we're going to do a short segment on first-time home buyers. We're going to call it a first-time home buyer primer. Right. Basically, uh, dispel some myths, make sure that uh, everybody knows that are, that are first-time home buyers. You understand certain characteristics that are particular to a first-time home buyer, right. and we're just going to run through that pretty quickly. Yeah, important to get some serious guidance when, as you begin there so that you don't make a first mistake, right. but you just have a great experience. And first, it's really important to understand the seriousness of buying and there, that there is a buyer cycle. People start looking online, 80% of people look online for a while, even if, up to a year or even two years. Mm -hmm. And then they kind of move from that out into saying, okay, now let's go see some of those properties. Sure. And so they begin to view some things and then they walk into one and hopefully engaging a realtor. That's the best way to see them. And then they walk into one and uh, they just fall in love with it. And that starts the offer contract closing process at the end of their cycle. Yes. And hopefully then they don't do another cycle for a while. Right, yeah, stay put. <laughs> stay Enjoy put. Enjoy that house that you were wanting to get into. And Draw that equity up. All right. Exactly. So that's important. And one of the key areas there is, as you begin, is to qualify your income. Right. Understand what you can really buy. Because why go out and look when you might be discouraged by the fact that you're not able to pick that up? Or you might be looking too low. Or you might be looking too low and there's other yeah. options out there that you're not being able right. to consider. Right. So definitely going and speaking with a lender mm -hmm. or talking to a real estate professional that has dealt with a lot of lenders and getting them to give you some information on that is a good thing to get. Yeah, let's just make a little caveat, not that we don't enjoy them, but uh, you know, sometimes friends say, oh, I've got a great brother-in-law does that kind of thing. Right. I, I would say you need a, an impartial person outside, so maybe yeah. you know, a good recommendation outside of family or relatives or anything like that. Right, you don't want to, I mean, it's always great to help family or friends out this is uh, the type of purchase um, investment that you don't want to necessarily be helping someone out on that. You want to get someone that's experienced so that your process is smooth right. and enjoyable, not a whole bunch of bump, bumps along the road that right. you weren't expecting. Right. So with all of that uh, primarily done, then the next thing is to kind of work with three specific assumptions that new buyers have. Okay. All right. First assumption is uh, that, uh, well, the media is given a lot of negativity about the fact that right. homes aren't sell selling and all that. There is no really national market. We take national statistics, mm -hmm. but there is really no national market. And in our market here in Dallas, Fort Worth, Rockwall area, uh, and those three are all the key ingredients, you know, right. Dallas, Fort Worth, and Rockwall, all about the same uh, uh, size. Right. <laughs> Joking about that. <laughs> uh, uh, it's totally different than in San Francisco. Right. Totally different than uh, uh, Connecticut. In the same way that weather is different in different parts of the country, sure. the real estate market is different in different parts of the country. Yeah, it might snow, it rain here, but it might snow. Uh, Just out of our rain in Tennessee yeah. or whatever. So Exactly. Okay, so keep that in mind that uh, the media is not really the best source for your input <coughs> on is it a good time to buy. No, it's pretty much going to be negative because negative news. So, yeah, so you got to talk to a realtor, and you got to get some other info. Uh, many houses in the price range for a first-time home buyer are receiving multiple offers. Good to know that that uh, you may have to go at a different price than what is actually stated on the uh, listing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, many buyers means you are making the right decision to buy now. Right. So your first assumption that well maybe it's not a good market. Yeah, it is a good market. So. Blow that assumption away. Mm -hmm. Don't work with that. Okay. okay. Second assumption is uh, I have to see every home in my area to know which <coughs> one's the best for me. Oh my goodness. Right. You know, uh, if you're going to burn an ant with a micro, uh, with <laughs> this is kind of a magnifying spin, glass, a magnifying glass <laughs> you got to focus it down yep. and intensify it. And that's what we're talking about here is instead of seeing every house, Get an idea, first of all, what, what your price range is. That's going to narrow it a little bit. Right. And then maybe there are specific criteria, area, the criterias right. that you want in your house. Work on that. And uh, If you know you need at least four bedrooms, you don't need to look at three bedrooms. Right, right. And if you know you don't want to be in that subdivision because it's too far away from the freeway or whatever, 
then you don't need to look at that one either. Sure. Um, and then remember, as you narrow the field, that uh, there are great interest rates. You need to get some good people to help you with that. Right. And there's also some tax credits for a first-time home buyer and for a person that's buying up. Right. 6500 So those are good things to uh, blow that out. To narrow your field is the second one. So Okay. And lastly, looking for a bargain. Oh, wow. Um, there are great deals out there. Yeah. Definitely. Th there are. They usually go pretty quick. Right. Um, so if you do come across one, you need to jump on it pretty, pretty quickly. Right. Um, if you're looking for something, it's probably not going to be something that's been on the market for two or three months because okay. if it was a good deal, um, it would be gone. Right. Um, so you're really going to need to focus down on stuff that's just coming on the market. Right. Just focusing on that. So a really good deal could be a really bad investment and you need to kind of figure that out. And That's true. Do that with a realtor. You can do that with some uh, inspection people and you know foundations are important in this area that they right. have some struggles with. Sometimes a little hidden, only the greatest and keenest eye can see it. So, got to get all that information before you yeah. figure out if it's a great deal. Because who okay. wants to do all that work on a seventy thousand dollar house when it may cost you seventy thousand more? Right. A lot of times, a lot of times, a bargain can be a bargain in the way of uh, a fixer upper. Yeah. And I know there's a lot of shows out there that talk about that. Yeah. But we all live busy lives already. Right. And you, what you don't want to do is get caught into this cycle of, okay, well this this month we're going to be taking care of this room, so we need to move everything out of there and disrupt your whole lifestyle. It's just something to think about. That's going to work out great for some people, and some people it won't. Yeah. So going back to those assumptions, let's kind of think through that again. You know, yeah. First of all, you have to know what, there is a buyer cycle. You, you got to work through that. It's a process and qualify your income. Right. And then uh, watch negative. Move the media, media out of the way because it's not going to help you. Get some qualified, specific information from real estate professionals. Professionals. Mm -hmm. And secondly, on the assumption, don't do the shotgun approach. Don't see everything. Narrow it down. Focus it so that you can really intently work on the maybe the ten, maybe the five that are the best. Right. And give them a good offer. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is, be careful of bargains. Yep. And uh, if you're doing that as a first-time home buyer, I think you'll you'll have a good experience. Good. You'll have a good experience. And if you use uh, the Madison Group, you'll have a great experience. <laughs> All right. We guarantee it. All right. We'll try really hard to make sure. <laughs> It'll be joy-filled. It will be joy-filled, no matter what. <laughs> How could it not be? Yes. Well, we're uh, having fun, yeah. keeping you informed in, on real estate and what's going on. And uh, we look forward to talking with you again.